You gonna put your butt on camera there, pal? Okay. Hey there, and welcome back to another one of our Saturday shorts. We're gonna talk about how to tape your thumbs for the hook grip. A lot of people will tape their thumbs for the hook grip. A lot of Olympic lifters will do it because over the course of a lot of snatching and cleaning, your thumbs take kind of a beating. Some people, if they hook grip for the deadlift, they may tape their thumbs um, for, the, for hook gripping the deadlift. Myself, I use hook grip. Well, I use hook grip. I use, I tape my thumbs for the snatch and the clean. I don't for my deadlift because on a heavy deadlift, I don't want anything between me and the bar. But your mileage may vary. You may be able to tape your thumbs for the deadlift just fine. Let's just talk about how to do it. Specifically, if you're just using regular athletic tape, some people like using a kind of a stretchy adhesive tape. That works fine too. I don't have that much experience with it. Athletic tape works just fine for me. This is the Mueller brand. There are other good ones out there. This is just what we have. At any rate, you don't want to tape over with this type of tape. You don't want to tape over the back side of the thumb, over the back side of the, the joint there, because when you try to bend your thumb, which when you're going to need to do that, it's going to bind up on you. So what you're going to do, this is one way to do it. It is not the only way to do it. Take a piece of tape, tear it in half lengthwise, wrap the first part of it around your distal flange of your thumb. In other words, the tip of your thumb, the last part of your thumb, and then you're gonna wrap the other piece of tape around the proximal flange of your thumb. In other words, you're gonna leave the joint, you can see this, you're gonna leave the joint exposed. And this works out pretty well. You can see that I can still bend my thumb just fine, and the tape does a good job of protecting uh, my thumb. Now, one downside here is that over the course of you know, a session, this piece of tape right here on the end may tend to slide off. Now, you can manage that in one of two ways, and I'll demonstrate one of them and just talk about the other. You can do the exact same thing that I just did here. So you can take a piece of tape, tear it in half, lengthwise, wrap it a couple times around the distal flange, and then as you come back around the front of it, remember you don't want to tape over the back side of the joint, I'm going to tape over the front side of the joint. That part I'll be able to bend just fine, and then wrap it around maybe once or twice here. And now I've given something that I can anchor, thank you Parker, I've given something that I can anchor in place with the rest of the tape. So now I'm taping down below the joint, and now it is much less likely that this piece of tape will actually come off because you can see it's kind of anchored in place, but the back side of my thumb is still exposed. Now I could also do that exact same thing with just one long skinny piece of tape, and that'll work just fine as well. Hope this helps.